<coughs> oh, I'm sorry, y'all. What's good, y'all? Master Sutter here. How you doing? Quick thing. Does season twos count? What is even considered the season two? Because here's the thing, y'all. I've been thinking, right? What's the difference showing the whole thing with the series and the season stuff? That was a good question, right? The reason I put it down like that is like, when I did my videos for the top shows, I try not to include season twos. Then I put in Shohek and No Bahama Jin, that's it. Virgin Soul and Jade had a problem with that. Here's the thing. I consider that a try to be a completely different series than the first part. However, it was just a continuation from the last time. Now, I think a series like that, and series that come to mind is JoJo. But JoJo does the same thing. A completely different series, a completely different set of characters, but there's always that one guy that comes back of another half a cat. And this basically happens afterwards, the last one. Not right afterwards, the years go by, but you know what I mean. It's also the Modern Gallery series that kind of does that as well. Even though they bounce back and forth between the whole time space, it basically revolves around the same characters. Yes, a bunch of different series, but all those different series all happen in Modern Gallery season two. Basically called the second season. So yeah, there's something to think about. But here's the thing, right? I can cut all that out right here, right now. But actually, the season two's count for the best animes. Now, I, I'll be honest with you. I have, from time to time... Not including season twos of these shows, basically because not only do I know these are a lot of people's favorite animes, but I haven't caught up to the first season. Like, me not including season two left me without having to, without having to have no problems with not putting Boku no Hero season two on that list. Watch Comes Like a Lion season two on that list. Berserk season... Pfft. But you know what I mean. Even Attack on Titan season two. Which a lot of people say was better than season one, which I kind of agree. In some cases. But yeah, I didn't have to worry about all that because I just was like, fuck season twos. Not fuck season twos, but you know what I mean. Here's the thing. I, now I look at 2018. And 2018 got a lot of season twos, man. Overlord season two is happening right now. It's not just the title. The 782 is supposed to be happening. You also got my favorite anime. Don't fuck this up. Fooey Koo is season two. And three is supposed to be coming. Girl and is supposed to be coming back. Some things about Code Geass. So I don't know what's going on with that one. There's also that uh, Magic Railgun show. I didn't watch that. I'm sorry. That's coming back. All kinds of shit that's supposed to be hitting. Season two is... And season three is for the year. Hey, Boku no Hero coming back as well. Attack on Titan season three. So, these sequels, should they hold a place? Now, I'm not even talking about in general anime. I'm really just talking about what I'm doing, to be real with you. Now, I know in general anime, they gotta hold a place somewhere. But I try not to include the season twos. Should they Should they be around? You know what I'm saying? Should I just put those in there and swallow the bitter pill if I didn't keep up? Because really, that's the only person to blame for that is me. Especially since I've been binging shows lately, so I could easily have caught up to those shows. But not easily, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean, you know. So, yeah. I gotta look at this like this, because a lot of the hyper stuff is season two for 2018. There's gonna be a lot of good anime coming out right now. But even stuff like the Fate series. Fate Extra is supposed to be dropping in a month. How do I handle that? All this is technically just a continuation from the first Fate series, and not that Fate Zero. These series of franchise, do they differ from the whole thing from the season two stuff? Should I add season twos into the situation? Because I hate to leave out shows like that. Because obviously, like, 2017, I keep saying this about 2017. Overall, basically the biggest thing out of 2017 was just the last season. And tw season two is going to be running through 2018. That's a known fact. 2017 was season two as well. We just didn't know it until it was really over. So really, a lot of the best shows I left off the best list of 2017 probably because I didn't watch the shows prior to it. That's saying I would have felt the same way everybody else felt. A lot of people that's talking about this is you guys on my channel. So... Evidently, we got something in common for you guys to subscribe to me in the first place. So that was just that was just something I was thinking about, man. Yeah. Season twos, and there's some shows I should catch up on. Just let me know. I can't guarantee y'all shit, cause I haven't been guaranteeing people shit for four years, technically five. So, yeah. But you know, this show Boku no Hero. I told y'all I was gonna catch up on that. I gotta do that. I told y'all uh, Boku no Hero is basically the only show. <laughs> I just talking about from the season two standpoint. There is those Garo series. A bunch of those I gotta watch. Uh, let's not turn that into this kind of video. But yeah, man. Should we involve the season twos into the whole best animes of this year? But my other problem with that is it was kind of biased. Because I, I looked at it myself like almost every time JoJo wins. Like JoJo would have been the best se anime every time it came out of the year if it wasn't for the Space Danny in 2014. I don't know. There's a little bit of bias into that. That's something I've been thinking about. I want to bring it to the... You guys keep talking about the season twos, so let me know. I kind of feel like this video is also kind of pointless, because I just think everybody's just going to be like, yeah. <laughs> but hey, I've been asked to address it sometimes, so I'm addressing it now. I'll incorporate the whole, I'll, the season twos into the best of these seasons and stuff like that. 
Because I want to continue doing that, continue talking about shows that are going through the season. I'll bring it all back around. Besides, a lot of shows I named, everything basically besides Railgun and Boku no Hero, I've caught up to. So a lot of season two is coming out this year. I've caught up on I, I can watch the second they start. That's the kind of works in my favor this year. Fuck 2017. 2018 is it. What do you want from me? All right, that's basically it, y'all. I'm probably just going to add the season twos anyways. I just want to bring that to y'all attention because I said I was going to say that at least once. Do season twos count? Yep. Yep. Should I incorporate them? You decide. Watch this video, leave me a comment. I don't know what you think. Like this video for me, and I'll see y'all. Peace out. Too many dope season twos coming out for me not to do this anyways.